Hey guys, it's Amber. So today's video is going to be exciting. I apologize for my hoodie because, um, you know, I'm a real person who likes to be warm. So uh, typically I would probably try to look a little cuter, but uh, keeping it real, it's freezing. So I'm wearing my hoodie. But today is exciting because I have two new palettes to share with you guys. So my sister actually is a big Shane Dawson fan and she was ordering these palettes and also ordered them for me for a gift. So I spent some time babysitting for her and some other things. So she was kind enough to get me the Conspiracy palette and the Mini Controversy palette. I have never used anything from Jeffree Star Cosmetics before. But I am a fan of Shane Dawson and I did watch the series so I am excited to try this out and to review the makeup and see what the formula is like and all those kinds of things. I'm not going to do complete swatches because I feel like there's a lot of swatches out there. I'm basically going to be just doing a first impressions look and kind of what I'm going for is colorful but wearable. I've seen lots of extremes like really really super amazing makeup but it's very like very out there and not something someone would wear for every day. And then I've seen like super, super minimal where it's just like the basic colors in the crease, a little shimmer on the lid, something basically you could do with any palette. So I'm trying to go for like a happy medium. My sister was looking for tutorials and she's like, girl, you gotta make some tutorials for something like show us how to use these colors in a more wearable way. And I was like, okay, okay, I can do that. So the Conspiracy palette comes in this little over sleeve. This is what it looks like. I'm pretty sure even if you're not a Shane Dawson or Jeffree Star fan, you've probably seen this palette, heard of this palette. It's been pretty much all over the internet. So pretty safe to say you've probably seen this. I think a lot of people were very passionate about this because we got to see it be created and, and go into the behind the scenes. And so there was kind of a mad rush to order it. I'm pretty sure my sister spent several hours trying to order it. And I know they'll be restocking in early 2020. So here's what the Conspiracy palette looks like. I do like that there's a mix of colors and a mix of mattes and shimmers. There's nothing in my opinion that's super glittery. The shade Trisha does have a little glitter, but nothing like um, the Tati Beauty palette, which I also have. And I kind of never did anything with it. I've been wearing it all the time, but I never did a review. I, I did one on Instagram, but if you want to see some looks with that palette, let me know because I can do that as well. I probably will anyway. And then this is the mini controversy. So lots of fun shades to play with today. And I'm going to try to use the shades for my face makeup as well. Blush, bronzer, highlight to see what I can do with this palette. All right, before we get into the first look, I wanted to let you know that I'm going to be doing a second look. So stay tuned after the video to see how I'm doing this smoky eye. I really like the shade My Boyfriend's Purse, so I might use some of that. I'm going to start though with Cry On My Couch, which is a great overall lid shade. And I can do looks with just one palette or the other if you guys want to see that. But today this is just my first impression, so I'm just trying it all. I'm a little sad to make the little cute impressions disappear. As you guys can see, there's little stamps in each shade. So right off the bat, I noticed that this is very pigmented. It's giving me good coverage. I'm just using this to set my concealer so I can have my makeup last. Using a little bit of the shade Tanacon, I've just been applying that into my crease. Now I'm gonna get a fluffy brush and go into pigment. I think it's pretty pigmented, <laughs> no pun intended. So I'm gonna start off small. Just because a shade swatches really dark and pigmented doesn't mean you have to use it that way. A lot of the shades are actually better used when they're diffused a little bit. That's why the choice of brush really make a difference if you're using a more fluffy brush like this versus if you're using something to like pack it on the lid or using your finger, you're gonna get a completely different result. And I'm really liking this using a fluffy brush and just kind of softly applying it. I mean, I don't think that looks too crazy for being like a pink. Like I think that's really wearable in my opinion. I am someone who likes color though. So, you know, keep that in mind. So I'm going to go back in with the same brush and go into not a fact. And I'm going to start on the outside corner and then kind of work my way over. Oh, that shade is really pretty. Yes. 
liking that blending really beautifully okay so i think i'm going to go into just a theory this one right here it has a little bit of a warmness to it and i think i'm going to use a brush first and then i'll try it maybe with my finger if i need a little more punch Okay, so that is with a brush. Now I'll go in with my finger. That definitely makes it a little more intense. All right, I'm gonna swatch Just a Theory next to my boyfriend's purse to see if I like how they look next to each other. I'm gonna do that on the inner corner here. If you didn't have this palette, I would just use like ranch, you know, just to kind of brighten it up right there. And I think I'm going to take some uh, controversy and I'm going to put that under the lash line. I actually really like what that looks like under the lash line. Pull a little of that purple in there. All right, I'm going to take a break from the eyes for a second and I'm going to go into I think a little bit of Tanacon and maybe a little bit of Diet Root Beer and do a little bit of kind of a contour here. See what that does. It's definitely pigmented. <laughs> then I'm going to go into the shade Pigment that I use on my eyes and try that for a blush. Blend that together a little bit. And let's see, I'm gonna go into ranch. And I think I'll use a little bit of ranch on my brow bone. I typically don't go for shimmery shades on my brow bone, but we're gonna live it up a little today. And I'm just gonna go into my pills and I'm just gonna kinda buff that out. So I'm going to use a little angled brush to go into my rides here and do a little eyeliner. Very pigmented. And I think now I just need to do my mascara and pick out a lip color and I'm good. So this is a look that I would wear every day. Maybe it's not an everyday look for everyone, but I like a little color, so I would definitely wear this. Let me know if there's any other colors you guys like me to use, or if you'd like me to use just this palette, or just this one, or if you like the combined looks. Um, I'm really open to whatever. I just think this is gonna be fun to play with for a little bit. If you're not following me on Instagram, you should. It is biceps.and.beauty. And I do post fitness content, but I do post makeup content as well, usually in my stories. I did recently get a little Sephora lip bundle, so I share that, swatched it all on there. I also um, swatched my Tati palette and posted that up there, my little review thoughts. So this is one of the lipsticks I got, it's Back Talk. I have really liked it, but it, I do need a little bit of gloss here in Utah. It's still a little bit dry here for me. All right, so here is the finished look. Obviously, this is just me doing a simple little playing around. I look nothing monumental, of course. But I do feel like I accomplished what I was looking for, which was colorful but wearable. Okay guys, just for fun, I decided to do one more look. I just figured, hey, why not? So I know that the first look, I used a lot of the pinks and um, I just figure, let's do something a little different. Um, I think I'm going to do something a little bit more, I don't know, maybe more neutral toned. We'll see. We'll see what I come up with. I don't have a clear plan at this point. I'm gonna go into the shade My Pills and put that all over my lid. All right, next I'm gonna go into the shade Spiraling and I'm gonna put that all over my lid and up into my crease. All 
right, let's go kind of crazy. I think I'm gonna go into Cheese Dust, which is this orange shade, and put that just outside where I've placed this. You know, you look at this orange shade and you think, oh my gosh, I could never use that. But actually paired with these neutrals, it's really not unwearable. Okay, I think I'm going to go into my rides here, and that's the black, and I'm going to shade out the corners. I'm just barely tapping into it. All right, next I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna go into the shade Sleep Paralysis right here. And I'm gonna put that in the center. I like just using my finger so I get the most pigment. And then I'm gonna go just ever so slightly into Diet Cola and put that in the very center of the center. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go back into my pills and just kind of use that to soften up this line here. I'm really liking the way this looks. Maybe I'll add a little bit more cheese dust just to pop that orange ever so slightly. And then I will go in my inner corner with a little bit of ranch, which is the white sparkly. And we'll take a little cheese dust under the lash line. Followed by a little bit of spiraling, just kind of building up that color keeping it close to my lashes here. Next, I'm gonna go back into my rides here and do some liner. All right, guys, here is my second look. So this is more a smoky eye nighttime look, but I feel like you got a little bit of that color in there using that orange. And also I feel like you could basically recreate this look using any of those pops of color up there and make it a purple smoky eye, make it a burgundy smoky eye, basically just using any kind of pop right there. So anyway, um, thanks so much for watching. If this is your first video of mine, make sure you subscribe. I'd love to have you. As always, thank you so much for your love and kindness and support. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!